Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be working on our band plugin. So I've already made a few changes to our main class here, and uh, pretty, pretty simple changes. I went ahead and separated the load configuration and the save configuration, uh, and made them their own separate uh, methods here because we're going to be needing them separate uh, for what we're going to do here. Then uh, I went ahead and put the load config right here in our on enable and then I changed the uh, file name to band players. So once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you're having some troubles, go over there, check it out, understand it, get to know it. It's going to be great stuff. So first things first is we're going to go ahead here into our ping command here. It's not really a ping command anymore. I'm just too lazy to make a new class. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and say ban. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and down here, everything is going to be the same as the last episode. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to change what is set, right? So we're going to go ahead and say chocolate.red and we're going to put this in brackets. We're going to say band and then we'll give them a, a reason. So now what we can do is what we're going to say is we're going to get our configuration so we need to get an instance of our main class here. So we're going to go say bungee main and we'll say plugin equals bungee main dot get instance. And then we want to go ahead and get a configuration here and let's make sure we import the right one because I have a habit of importing the wrong one. And this is going to be configuration and this is going to be plugin dot configuration. Cool. And now we're just going to go ahead and say configuration dot set. And we are actually going to use I actually recorded this before and I used the player's display name. I honestly totally realized this is a terrible way to do it and you should not use display names. You can have the display names in there, but the unique identifier should be the unique identifier or the UUID. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and say player get unique ID plus username. And now we can go ahead and say player get display name copy this we'll change this to reason and now we'll go ahead and put in new string there we go that is a better way to do it than i had originally done it and now we're just going to go ahead and say plugin oops uh, save conf config cool now this is all set up here uh, like I said, pretty much the same as before. We just changed a few lines, or we didn't really change much. We changed this line and added these three lines on after it. But now we're going to go here to our events class, which uh, we did uh, in the first couple episodes. And we're going to use a pre login event. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to say if plugin configuration dot contains, and we're going to say event dot get connection and get unique ID. And we are just actually going to change this real quick to two string, two string. And then we are going to change this to string as well, just because it's going to want this to be a string. We could just go ahead and add like this at the end of it. Um, <clears throat> whatever you want to do. Okay, so we're going to say if it contains that, we are going to go ahead and get it. So we're going to say string. And this is going to be called the reason. And it's going to be a plugin dot configuration dot get string. And we are actually going to change this real quick. And we're just going to say UUID, UUID plus oops, equals. And we're just going to put that there. And then we can just quickly go ahead and say UUID dot to string. And we're going to say get string UUID dot to string plus reason. And then we'll say event dot get connection. Then disconnect new type component. And it's just going to be chat color dot red plus band and then plus reason. So now if we go ahead and export this. <coughs> Let me make sure that I don't have this already. Okay, so there, and let's boot up our hub server here, just so we have something to connect to. Uh, this one's not as important, so we'll just 
we'll put this one over here. This is the one we want to look at. So what I found out is the player GUID is actually not sent over in the pre-logging event. So unfortunately, you won't be able to get their UUID pre-login. So what you're gonna have to do is you can either use their username and then do pre-login that way and ban them before they even get on the server. Or what you can do is you can just change this to post login. And then what you can do is you can actually go ahead and say event.get player dot get unique ID. And now you can actually check to see if it contains their UID. And then we can just go ahead and say event.get player disconnect. So and we just want to do a UUID to string. So now what we can do is if we close this down, since we changed that to a post login event, oops, we can uh, let me grab the server here, pull, pull that into here. What we can do now is we can join it. And you can see that we instantly get disconnected for griefing. It finds their UUID. So if you want to use UUID, you have to use post login event. And if you want to use pre login event, you have to use their username. It's a battle that you can figure out for yourself. Uh, but generally, your UUID is better. The only issue here is that they're going to be able to connect to your server through Bungie first, and then they'll get kicked. So however you want to manage it. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.